Vita, hello Daymante, hello agents who are coming to our webinar today. We are very happy to have our more, even more information about Kauno Collegia, higher education institution today. And our speaker will be Mrs. Vita, the admission coordinator of uh, Kauno Collegia. And I'm Jones, marketing specialist from Net24. And thank you, Daymante, for your support for being here with us too. My name is Zita. I'm uh, the admission coordinator at Kono Collegia Higher Education Institution that I will call shortly Kono Collegia or Collegia. And this is my colleague, Daymante. She's incoming coordinator. So it means she's working with incoming uh, exchange students from abroad. So let's talk why Konos. So Konos was the European capital of culture in 2022. It's full of young people, rich, uh, rich culture, life, green areas. It offers inspiring academic environment, cheap flights from Konos airports, and we have a free economic zone near Konos for good job possibilities for students. So why Konos Collegia? So Kono Collegia aims to balance the attitudes and expectations of students, teachers, and employee, employers, and direct the institution activities towards quality improvement. The quality management system implemented at Kono Collegia helps to unite efforts to achieve results. So as you can see, we have Students Association, Erasmus Student Network, help that they are helping our students to integrate in daily life in Konos and in Kono Collegia. We also have a variety of sports and other free time activities like choir. We have uh, our national dance team. Uh, it's a great opportunity to participate in the student mobility. We have a lot of foreign partners and etc. So again, by Kono Collegia. So the, form, the formula of, for the success of Kono Collegia is a partnership between the student and the lecturer and we are training specialists in their fields. So Kono Collegia respects the opinion of the students. Uh, the delegated representative of students actively participate in activities of self-government. So students can deepen their knowledge, not only through lectures or, or self-studies in libraries, but also by participating in the activities of student scientific societies and various competitions. Also student internship take both place inside and outside the university in uh, various business organizations. So they do have uh, um, internships and we help them to find it. Uh, also, Kono Collegia cooperates with uh, more than 220 higher education institutions from 38 countries of the world. And students have the opportunity to go study there or do a part of the internship there. So the community of Kono Collegia maintains relations with other educational and research institutions of the country associated business structures and companies and the cooperation with social partners takes into account to study goals, the needs of labor market and the regional development strategy. So depending on the chosen specialty and the lecture mat material is presented in electronic space, team assignment, analysis of acting situations, independent research, educational online games, professional competi competitions, Project presentations are organized and Kono Collegia students, together with colleagues from foreign higher education institutions, participate in uh, intense training programs, which uh, projects are developed by international teams. So our studies are practical and innovation based. So our objectives are to conduct studies and other educational services relevant to the progress of the state and regional development. So to develop uh, learn, uh, learner center studies and training services to develop the international openness of studies. So just a little main facts and figures. So Como Collegia is a major state professional higher education institution in Lithuania with four faculties. So we have a uh, faculty of business Faculty of Arts and Education, Faculty of Medicine, and Faculty of Technologies. We have a general, we have six double degree the programs. So it's general practice nursing, cybersecurity and systems, logistics, international business, and tourism and hotel management. So, and we also have four study programs in English and one study program in Russian. As you can see, we have around 330 outgoing students and 350 incoming students lots of academic staff and around 4,500 students generally. 
So our cooperation with business. So a wide range of services for business. So Kono Kalege has more than 500 partners in Lithuania and abroad. Over one uh, and a half thousand students each from each year from all faculties perform practice in different organizations of private and public sector. Many specialists from business and, and other external organizations are invited to enrich the lectures with their practical knowledge. And we have many projects, intensive programs and other activities are organized with business. So I want to uh, say that we have business center of the faculty of business. It's a space where business and higher education cooperates. So activities are organized here to resound the needs of students and entrepreneurial skills. So that's where we're having, that's where where we are having intensive programs, events, business idea workshops, etc., and opportunities for business development. So we're doing research, joint project activities, and also human resource, human, human resource development. So mentoring programs, uh, practical trainings are open up. So I will start uh, presenting our uh, study programs. So at first, we have tourism and hotel management. So the study area is business and public management. And the Bachelor in Tourism and Hotel Management is a three-year post-high school program for those who have passion for the tourism industry and are seeking for new opportunities and self-realization through such activities as international exchanges and hands-on experience. So the Bachelor in Tourism and Hotel Management has a strong international dimension, so it offers you a possibility to select a double degree uh, studies with Lab University of Applied Sciences in Finland to gain knowledge about multicultural uh, tourism business and environment while participating in Erasmus Plus mobility activities and working with incoming teachers or joining in various international projects. So these practice-oriented studies include educational visits to, visits to hotels and other enterprises of tourism business, tourist attractions, etc. So a little more, so learning process includes theoretical lectures, practical workshops, solution of real business problems, cases analysis, group and personal projects and or scientific pro uh, papers. And studies are organized integrating different subjects into models uh, to help students gain interdisciplinary skills. So professional internships induce students to employ, uh, learn skills and knowledge right away, provide valuable experience and get them fully prepared to start their careers. And in order to achieve the learning outcomes, educational visits to hotels, as I said, are included to the study process. About international business. So international business is a program that reflects the market needs. So it's based on a model principle and that ensures the interdisciplinary of studies, flexible learning environment, enhancing the role, the role of uh, students in the study process, encouraging their independence, activity, responsibility for the study results, integrating practical and self-study assignments, doing one semester internship in business companies. So the program is orientated towards problem teaching, formation of student systemic appro approach, uh, socially responsible and ethical business and students of the program pro program will study in a higher school or do one semester internship in a business abroad as I said and study program uh, offers a possibility for a double degree in Thomas More University of Light Sciences in Belgium. So uh, students will uh, study in a modular activity program which uh, provides a flexible learning environment and promotes student autonomy. Uh, student oriented self studies based on tax, tasks and uh, group activities that encourage problematic and critical thinking. So educational environment is created to enable students to self control their study process, reflecting on, on their activities and encourage the, their creativity and innovation. And the program strives for students uh, act, uh, students active participation in the study process. So discussions and dialogues between the teacher and student are always encouraged in the lectures. And the aim of international business study is to teach future international business managers to analyze international business environment, to communicate and cooperate with foreign, foreign partners and customers also, apply business management principles and provisions of international business regulations by planning and organizing international business activities in the company or its department. 
Another uh, study program that we have in English is English for Public Relations. So the aim of this study pro program is to train specialists who are able to communicate communicate correctly in professional English language. So appropriately use the professional terms of management, spheres, and public communication, organize and manage internal and external communication of an enterprise in Lithuanian or in English, develop and assess information products, broaden and sustain inter intercultural communication and cooperation, shape the image of an organization in, Lit uh, in the Lithuanian and foreign languages, apply various strategies of integrated communication, flexibly respond to market changes, and adapt to evolving conditions of the environment. So graduates will correctly communicate in foreign languages and written and orally, and correct, you correctly use their mother tongue, correctly use the professional terms of the spheres of management and public communication, know the strategies, administrate internal and external communication, and it's innovating, it's teaching new learning methods, flexible modes and options. So it's oriented towards studies of professional English, which provides a favorable conditions for becoming a practitioner of particular linguistic area. And about photography. So there's a new study program that we have launched this year. So first of all, I want to say that the main thing about photography that you have to have a um, uh, portfolio, sorry, I forgot the word. So you have to have a portfolio to enter this program. So about the program. So the study program is uh, aims to promote individual humanistic orientation, aesthetic perception, critical and creative thinking, social activity, freedom of communication and responsibility, develop professional skills of photography, uh, specialist based on traditional and alternative and digital photography and innovations and professional uh, activity in various fields of application of the art of the photography and enhance the abilities necessary for organizing photographers activities considering the changes in the environment and perceiving the importance of a lifelong learning. So this study program is promising and innovative. It integrates activities of alternative and digital pho photography professional fields of reporting photography, commercial photography, photography of the architect, architecture, three-dimensional artworks, and reproduce, reproduction of works in art. In addition to digital photography, students can study and master the alternative process of analog photography, such as cyanotype, lit print, and gum brachomate. They gain intercultural experience by attending lectures given by lecturers abroad. So the study program uh, uh, of photography graduates will be able to work individually as freelance photographers, set up a company and create jobs in their professional field or activity, work in a team uh, in a photo services uh, company, media, fashion, advertising agencies, galleries, cinematography or videography, studios, museums, set up a photography business, develop and expand creative and project activities. The other study uh, program that you have is image design, and it's our only study program that we have in Russian language. So practices are, des and are designed to apply the stylization of natural forms in image making. So to organize creative process and to shape the image of an individual or a group of individuals. So practice knowledge is deepened at Como Collegia and Lithuanian or foreign companies. Graduate, graduate, graduates can work individually and in teams with individuals in beauty, TV and film studios, theaters, designer collections, presentations, advertising agencies, concert organizations, clothing, footwear and accessory manufacturing, sales outlet, etc. So key skills, what you can do, uh, knowledge of fashion and image history and trends, create design and implement a distinctive original client style, help the client to represent themselves, advice on custom, face correction, etiquette, carry out individual activities, work on creative projects. So about the application. So maybe I will explain step-by-step step how we can apply. So you have to choose the study program, of course. 
and register yourself. So upload all the documents that are needed are, are and required, receive an invoice for 120 euros. So basically it's an application fee. After proceeding with the payment, upload its proof to the application system. After the fee is received, Colon Collegi will proceed with qualification recognition following the Center for Quality Assessment and Higher Education recommendations. And when you get the admission confirmation, you pay the tuition fee, and then you are applying for a temporary residence permit. So maybe I will briefly explain uh, about why not visa. So just this year, we had a change in the immigration department. So now students can straight apply for a TRP, temporary residence permit, straight away from their home country or a country that is nearest to them. So no visas anymore. You can strictly apply for therapy for two years and it's easier, it's more comfortable for the student, except the main problem is it takes around from one to three months to get a decision. And I also want to mention the documents that are needed. So you need uh, officially legislated documents of previous education. So high school diploma or un and university diploma if we have one. Uh, including uh, including uh, academic transcript, a copy of a passport or ID, a motivational letter, uh, your photograph, and we also ask for English proficiency certificates or here it's TOEFL or something equivalent showing that you have a B2 level of English. And if students' uh, 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 previous studies were done in English, the language proficiency certificate is not required. In such cases, we are asking students an official document, document proving that the studies were completed in English language. And about, just briefly about living in Kona. So we have four dormitories and the prices vary from uh, 190 to 10, 2010 uh, euros for a room. So these are block rooms. So it means two students live in them. We have canteens and faculties. The price for lunch is about from three to five euros. In Kono Kolegia, we also have a library and the center of information resources. We have IT services, and as I already mentioned, we have sports facilities and lots of intercurricular activities. And also, it's a really easy access to the city center by bus or trolley bus. So a single ticket with a student card is, is 0 0.0 euros, 70 cents. I like the price, you know, because normally yeah. when, <laughs> when I see really it, yeah, it's true. When I visited, uh, I once visited the Netherlands and actually here our price of the, of, of, how, how, how to say, 20 minutes of bus, it's like uh, also zero point something euros. But when I came to the Netherlands or some, some places around, right, and um, they are like, seven euros or it has to be like four to seven euros per ticket so i really love the price of the countries where we have cheap uh, transportation to be honest yeah and, and yeah and also when when the students come uh, come here and then when they open a bank account they yeah. can uh, download an app called jogas and mm -hmm. then the student ticket will be 35 cents for one trip so oh. yes, it's even cheaper, but you have to have a Lithuanian bank account first. Oh, I think of course they would want to, right? <laughs> Everybody yes. would, would be very willing to do it. I have a question. So about the uh, fee for the uh, dormitory, it's very good fee, but I wonder like that fee is for one year or one month? It's for one month, but I okay. want to, uh, to say about the prices that usually the prices are always corrected in the May of July. So yeah. it's just approximately something like that. Maybe it will be cheaper, maybe it will be, you know, a bit higher. I don't know yet, because usually, as I said, in, in July, we are where the, the accommodation division is changing the prices. Yeah, it's totally fine. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. And please go on with your contact details. So, yeah. So, as I said, this is Unit for International Relations. My email is admission at go.coca.lt and Dimante is incoming at go.coca.lt. And probably that's it with my presentation. It's more about studies in study in LT. I want to go further with the Q&A section for you. So you also accept IELTS. Yep, right. 
Yes, right? yield TOEFL or something equivalent that shows the proof that, that uh, the student has B2 level of English or uh, proof from a previous study, uh, you know, uh, institution with a proof that student has learned English by the level of something. something. Thank you so much. Okay, so the next question from Jimmy is how many intakes do you have? So we have one intake, so it's autumn intake. That's the, our uh, autumn semester starts on the 1st of September. And because, as I said, the immigration rules change and, this, and it might take uh, three months to get a decision about TRP. So we shortened our deadline a little bit. So the deadline for uploading the documents are the 1st of May. Of course, there might be some exceptions for like two weeks or 15 days, something like that. So in, until the middle of May, but we did, as, did this just for the student to be more comfortable uh, with coming to the to Lithuania and getting uh, TRP as soon as possible. Can you repeat the visa process? Uh, yes, of course. So the immigration department is asking not to uh, apply for a visa if you're a full-time student. So basically you have to go um, to the immigration department's website. It's called Migris in Lithuania. You know, we have a system like that. Then uh, when the higher education institution gives you a mediation letter, uh, you have to upload all the documents, all the information. It's basically the same documents as visa. So showing your bank statements and et cetera, et cetera. And when you upload everything to Migris, you go to external service providers. So there's a list of the service providers. I do not know it in, in my mind like now. There's a list of service providers. So for example, let's take, uh, I don't know, India. Uh, there's one in Delhi. There you go to give your biometric data, like fingerprints, your passport copy. You pay uh, a fee. Uh, the fee depends on every country. It's different everywhere. And then after giving your data to the uh, VFS uh, office somewhere in the world, uh, you just wait for the decision when you upload all the documents to Migris. Then the immigration department can call you and uh, give you a Teams online meeting just to ask you some questions, but it's a random thing. So not everyone is getting the interviews about it. And that's it. And then you just wait for a decision. And then the, the Migris system, the immigration system, you get an answer if your TRP is issued or not. And then you, when you get the answer, you wait for some time for the courier to send it to VFS. Uh, office to the external yeah. service provider and you just take it and, and that's it and you can go straight to Lithuania with the TRP card. So let me sum up the webinar today for you. You guys have answered 65 questions from our agencies and there were 45 agencies coming to us. In general, there are almost 50 of us in this webinar today, which is a, an incredible number. And after today, I wish you the best collaborations. Okay, yes. so thank you very much for listening and thank you for helping me. Thank you, my colleague Dimante. And yeah. so I hope to talk to you soon again, everyone. And yeah. have a great day then. Have a great day. Bye. See you soon.